Good morning, how are you doing? Afternoon, evening, whatever it may be. I know we all start these devotions the same way. I trying to, was trying to sit here and think of an original way of uh, introducing myself, but I think they've all been done at this point. But no, we are so glad that you are with us, um, whether you're Audacious Family or whether you're watching um, from another church. I think one great positive thing about social media we so often concentrate on the negative but a real positive is that we can we can get content from so many different sources from so many different churches around the world um, and really grow um together so we're honored to be hosting these devotionals and i'm super honored to be hosting one this morning for you um and what we're doing at the moment um in the theme of our devotionals is we're doing a meaningful verse a verse which is meaningful to the person um, that has written the devotional. And today, that's me. Um, so the verse that I really thought was getting put on my heart as I was praying and as I was I was thinking about um, what to write this around um, was Philippians 4, verses 6 to 7. Now, if you've been in church for any period of time, you've probably heard this verse a lot. You've, you've been around it um, a little bit. It's quite famous. Um, but if you're new to church... Um, or you've never been, um, you don't even know anything about the Bible um, or, or what any, any key scriptures in there, um, I'm really honoured to share this with you um, because this for me has become a bit of a foundation. Um, I just want to read it to you and then what we'll do is we'll dive a little bit deeper. Um, so it's, the key verse for today is Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7. And Paul writes... Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. I absolutely love it. There's so much gold in there. Um, but what I think I love most is is the context. And I love that, that Paul gives us an instruction. He tells us how to live. And then he follows it with a truth-filled promise. We know that Jesus came and he came to give us peace and he came to give us life. So we know that, that by reading the Bible that, you know, one, one of his names is the Prince of Peace. And and, and the, the truth-filled promise that that Paul tells us is that his peace will guard our hearts and minds as we live in Christ Jesus. In other words, as we live in accordance to what God's, what Jesus has called us to, what God's put on our lives, um, he will therefore guard our hearts and our minds um, as long as we follow everything that he's called us to be. Um, so let, let's just have a little look at the instruction. So the instruction that Paul gives us is to not worry about anything. A lot easier said than done. Um, but he then goes on to say, instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for what he's done. And the first time that I think I ever read this, um, I was just thinking about things. And that's one thing that I love about scripture is it's very thought provoking. And I, I was asking myself a question um, that kept coming over and over again in, in different words. And and the question was basically, but how does me telling God what I need and thanking him for what he's already done, how does that pave way for peace in my life? And as I've just been meditating and thinking over this, um, this question in preparation to prepare this devotional, um, I had a couple of thoughts in response to that question. Um, and these are things that I've personally learned um, and discovered by living alongside Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7. Um, the first one, my first thought is when we tell God what we need, we hand over control. We invite Jesus and the Holy Spirit into the vulnerability and the emotion of what we're experiencing. So by praying about everything, we hand over control to God. By handing over control, we also invite Jesus and the Holy Spirit into the very midst, into the, into the vulnerability and the, the hardest emotions of what we're experiencing. 
also by telling God um, everything that we need and by thanking him, him in advance, what we do is we induce faith into the response to the challenge or the lack that we're, that we're walking through, that we're experiencing. And how we do this is our spirits, our spirits are reminded by the Holy Spirit of God's faithfulness towards us in past challenges or lacks in which we've experienced. So by God, telling God everything and by thanking him in advance and thanking him for everything that he's done for us, we induce faith into our response. Our spirits are naturally reminded by the Holy Spirit of the faithfulness of God towards us in past challenges or lack that we have experienced. I just absolutely love that. I hope that that's spoken to you this morning, that that's spoken to where you're at. That's really why this is so meaningful to me um, because it really is, it's a life lesson. It's golden wisdom from Paul married with a true filled promise that God will always um, give us peace, surround us in peace and not just any peace, but a peace that exceeds anything that we can understand. A peace that, that will surround us in the storms of life or the, the tosses of life that, that we would never naturally be able to find peace in. But God gifts us peace because he loves us, because he's there for us, he wants to support us. And when, through the peace that he gives us, we are able to navigate that situation in a responsible, a calm and a collected way. Um, I just want to pray for you right now. And then we're going to start this devotional. I just want to pray for the peace of God to touch you in this moment. So right now, Holy Spirit, I just thank you for everybody that's that's watching this, that's that's taking the time out to listen to this. And I just um, just want to pray peace into their lives, into their scenarios, into the situations, into the things that they're dealing with, Lord. Um, whether it's good or it's bad, um, I just pray your your perfect peace, the peace that exceeds any understanding. And Jesus, I just pray that you will guard, guard the listeners' hearts, you will guard their minds as they live in accordance to you and they live their lives in Christ Jesus. I pray for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hope you have an absolute fantastic day. Thank you so much for taking the time out to sit and watch um, the Audacious Devotionals. And I just hope you have a fantastic day.